Hi there and welcome to this week's workout. We're on to power stage two. So last week we had a power intro. Today we have power stage two, so secondary power workout. Similar in that we're going to work with a weighted exercise before we do a power exercise pairing the same muscle group. We'll do one for the lower, one for the upper body. That's block one, four exercises. And then we'll take a break and we'll do the same for the end, for the second block. Then we have uh, a seven minute cool down stretch at the end and we always start with our three minute warm up. Okay, if you're doing the body weight exercises today, try and have a rucksack available. Okay, I've got one here and I've just put in um, uh, some something to make it heavy. Okay, if you're at home, you have tin cans, water bottles, books, anything that's going to just make it heavy. Get your school bag, chuck some stuff in it, something you can hold on to just add a little progress to the exercises you have been doing. Okay, and we're just going to make it a little bit more challenging with a little bit of extra load. And that's an option. You can do it body weight or you can do it with that. Okay, with the weights today, we have, we're gonna be using bars right up to dumbbells. If you don't have bar, you just have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, just listen out for the options that we will use with those. As always, make sure you have a chair or a bench, water, towel, keep yourself hydrated so you have the energy to push through the whole session. So with that said, three minute warm up, two working blocks and a cool down. Let's get the warm up started. So, jogging on the spot, or if you've got a bit of space, you can jog around your room, okay? So, move it around a little bit. Don't stay dead still. We're just going to go for another few seconds and we're going to change into pop, pop, squat, okay? So, pop, pop, and drop down into the squat, all right? Little bounce on the balls of the feet and then drop into the squat. Good. From here, we're gonna go into squat jumps and just change your foot landing, one foot slightly in front, and then jump. Okay, so it's just a tiny stagger between the feet, okay? So that they're not landing side by side, okay? They're still shoulder width apart, hip distance apart, but landing just slightly staggered, okay? And then just change it to side to side, touch the wall on one side, Touch the wall on the other or whatever space you have. If you need to make it a zigzag, make it a zigzag. Okay, and take it into our first stretch. Feet nice and wide apart. Sink to one side, stretch the inside of the groin and turn your chest to your knee up and across. Change it to each side. Good, turn to the way you lean. One more each side. Take a single leg balance position, core locked in tight, gentle swing of the leg, keeping your upper body still. Don't let your back arch and build it up, build it up and change leg. Balance and swing. Good. Build it up, build it up. Good, lying face down on the floor. Scorpion, right elbow, right foot to left hand, and then left foot to right hand, alternating between the two. Two more, one each side, and we're coming up into a plank position. Good, lift, abs in, glutes on, and reach the hands. Good, nice and strong, keep those hips still. If you can't keep your hips still, if you're wobbling, bring your feet a little wider, makes you more stable. It's harder the closer your feet are together. Okay, bring it up into a standing position. Single leg squat, touch down. Right down to touch the big toe and stand back up, squeezing the bum and thigh as you stand. One more, switch it over. Good, squeeze. And this will bring us to the end of our warm-up and I'll start to explain the loaded exercises. Good. All right, so exercise one, overhead squat. If you don't have a bar, holding two dumbbells, holding a single kettlebell, locked out overhead as high as you can. Overhead squat, head and chest up, keep the heels on the floor, get the bum down and back up for five reps, okay? Exercise two, so, Strength exercise for the legs, 
power exercise for the legs. Find a little line, do a mini jump over the line, followed by a massive jump. Mini, massive. Switch, mini, massive. Reload, five in a row. Single arm rows. So you need a bench. Then you take your dumbbell, you have happy cat back position and row. Five on the right, five on the left, and then you grab much lighter dumbbells and you do bent over row and explode to the side, explode to the side. There's built in breaks, so wait for the call and the shout to start each exercise before you do. Steve, -o, come on in and you can start. Hi there, folks. Body weight, exercise one. Standing up close to a wall or a door, do a squat without letting your hands touch the wall. Five reps. Number two, hop and stick. Left foot to left foot to left foot. Three on the left, three on the right. Then with your rucksack, single arm row. Five on the right, five on the left. And then we finish with bag Russian twist. Sitting on the floor, again with that little bit of extra load, twist and touch the bag off the floor to get your load into your core work. All right, you're set and ready to go. In 10 seconds, we push, okay? So starting with our overhead squats here and starting with overhead squats there. Let's go. Good, and where we go, five reps, down. Then take your break, all right, from here, and we wait for the buzzer to start the power exercise. We do the same on both sides. So here, over that little line, and then really power up as high as we can. Two, one, five reps. Little jump, explode. Little jump, balance, explode. Good. Control that landing too. Just as important as the violent power in the jump. Single arm rows, all right. Hand on the bench, happy cat back, body still and pull. Five on each side. And time to rest before we go for power here with the light dumbbells. Control down, smash it up. Ready? Smash, control down. Imagine a pane of glass, smash on each side. Two, smash the glass. Three, four, five. Really important to do it though, without any violent action on the body. It's a real power from the arms. It's too heavy if you're having to use your whole body to move those dumbbells. All right, reduce the load and focus on those arms staying straight, squeeze shoulder blades and smash it together, okay? So built in recovery time at the end of each round. That's round one done, three more to go. Steve's gonna bring you through and coach you through the next one, all right? All right overhead squats, don't touch the wall. This helps us keep our torso upright makes us sit through our hips, okay, working on those angles. The closer you can get your toes to the wall, the harder it is. Five good reps, nice and slow and controlled. Then our single leg hops, really looking at lowering our body. Heel hits the ground first, then absorb into the thighs. So jump and absorb down low. Two, absorb low, absorb low. Making sure you get your hips down as you land. On each one, okay? Into the rows. Same as with Steve over there. Adding that little bit of load to the pull action. If you can stick an extra bit of Weight into this one. Because you're strong in that action. And now with the Russian twists, again, we're looking for speed and power here. All right, so we want to be, get through the twists. Touch the ground, 
and explode away. Control, touch, spin, touch, spin. Three, four, all the way to ten, five, six. The lower back you lean, the harder it is. And ten. Good. And around two. All right. So we're halfway through this first block. You know where you are. Just as we did after the first one, can we reevaluate a little bit more? Get water on board, stay hydrated. Keep up those energy levels and we push. All right, seven seconds. Be ready to go. All right, here we go. Start around three. You know what we're at now. Focus on keeping technique. That's the most important thing. And keep the load into the working muscles. Good. Real power in those. All right, pushing hard. Here, keep it heavy and pull for five. Four. Five. Switch. Strong. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. And now into power. As I said before, keep that body still. Control it down. Smash the glass and control. Two, three, my legs are pretty straight. Happy cat, four, back position, five. Good, take the recovery. All right, you've only got one round to go. Where can you push yourself? Which one of the exercises can you work a little harder in? The squats, the rows, the jumps. All right, which one can you push the boundary a little bit more and test yourself? to finish in the last round, okay? So be strong, choose good options, and go hard. All right, how close can we get to this wall? Uh, with our toes. Four, last one. Five. Oh, without touching. Good, last round now. Here we push big hops, big sticks. Try and push the distance, but still able to nail the landings. That's the most important part. Come on, big. There we go. Switch it over, come on. Rows, pull, squeeze shoulder blades and release. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we finish with lean back as far as you can. If you want a little added more, lift the feet off the ground. Okay, so here. Or here and go. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Pushing that core work through. Good work. Well done, Steve. Super. That brings us to the end of the first block. Great work. On to block two. Okay. Exercise one in the loaded section. Goblet squat hold with a dumbbell, kettlebell. Lift up one knee, drop in, and power back up. Repeat the same leg three times in a row, and then switch. Exercise two, lunge jumps. Start in the lunge, split squat position. Jump, switch your feet, and land the opposite way around. 
Six in a row, three each side. Next of all, dumbbell bench press. Take out your bench, grab a heavier set of dumbbells, lying on your back, work the chest muscles, hands up, elbows past 90 and push to the top for five. And then you switch to a lighter dumbbell, single arm, hand up, slowly down, punch, slowly down, punch. Again, that pane of glass up in the air that you're trying to smash as you punch the arm up. Steve, -o, over to you. All right, so exercise one, split squat. Holding the loaded bag in front of your chest, drop the back knee to the ground, three on the right, three on the left. Then just like they're doing over here, we're doing the same, all right? Repeat, lunge, jump, switching your feet on each one. Then we go to push-ups, this time with rear foot elevated. Hard version, toes on the bench, do the push-up, okay? Shins on the bench, a little easier. Knees on the bench or the seat, a little easier again. So you find the level at which you can do the push-ups, okay? We're going for five reps. And then we're doing a ledge for clap push-ups, something that's a little higher, either on the seat, window ledge, bed. Ready? Let's go. Foot up, plant. Lift and catch, drop, catch, come back to that knee switch. of it, toe up, three in a row, and switch it over. Keep that front heel on the floor when you step down. One more. Good, and we wait for the buzzer till we start our lunge jumps. Nice big jumps, scissor feet, you're in the air. bench press with the next beep. Five reps. And then we wait for the buzzer to start the power one. Remembering, picture a pane of glass that you're going to smash. Five on the right, five on the left. Control, punch. Control, punch. Finish it out. And that's the end of round one. Now you know what you're doing on either side here. Okay, figure out can you go harder, lighter? Is it a weight you can maintain or can we push a little bit more? Okay, two exercises where the power is in here. Okay, the lunge jumps and there the punches, single arm. All right, so really focus on bringing speed and power in. All right. Three, switch over the feet, drop, control, touch, lift. So I'm touching my back knee off the floor on each rep. Good. All right, lunge jumps. All right, same as principles over there. Keep that torso upright. Don't let your torso drop as you go through each one. Be ready to go. Torso up, core in, go. Good, nice and balanced and controlled. All right, for the push-ups, control down, push up. All right, go as hard as you can with where your feet are. Okay, I'm going toes on the bench and control down. Getting nice and deep into each one. All right, then if you want to work harder on these, okay, the level makes it easier or harder. The higher up this bar or the ledge that you're working off, the easier it is. The lower, the harder it is. So I could do these on the bench, okay? Be a little harder, okay? So really drive away. Try not to use your bum to do it, all right? Keep your body straight 
and push from your arms only. Last one. Good. Good stuff. Good push through round two. That's halfway through. Two rounds done. Two to go. And then we're into our mobility and stretch session. So keep that tempo up. Look for areas that you can work harder in. Okay, but don't work harder at some exercise. That means the powerful exercises are not powerful. They need to be driven. They need to be explosive. So work hard, but don't go slow. I've gone up a load here for this round on this. I'll push myself and get the weight I want into my legs. Next up, the lunge jumps. I want to push for power on each one. Explode up, up, punch, drive, push the ground away. Ah, good. Nice strong chest press coming. Five reps. And now we go for the punches. Nice and quick, control on the way down, punch on the way up. Get that chest, shoulder muscles contracting explosively. Core tight, punch, stay still. Switch it over and punch. All right. One more round to go, and we push it home hard, okay? So how much more energy can you give me last four exercises of the day? All right, let's go, come on, come on, let's push. Cool, come with us, three, two, one and up, I'm adding a slow on the way down here to make these harder. And switch more time under tension for those muscles. And up. And up. And up, good. Now how high can I get on these jumps? I'm gonna beat him over there, come on. important and height okay on these push-ups I'm trying to get my nose to touch the floor without shoving my neck forwards all right get in deep Hop. one two three getting right down into it tension through the muscles the last one good and final exercise with power now Every single one, press up, push away as hard as I can. Okay, get that clap in. Two, one, dip, drive, clap, drive. Keep my bum out of it, just my arms and shoulders. It may not look like you're trying to move as fast as you can, but you're trying to explode. Super workout today, folks. Oh, oh yeah, nice well done, Steve. You. See you next week, man. Yeah, yeah. See you I'm next happy. week. Join us again. Right, that brings us into our cool down and stretch. Drop onto one knee. If you need to have some water and a towel down, tuck the hips under. Squeeze. Please get your water on board as you're doing the stretches. Generate that stretch here by tucking and squeezing. Try not to lean forward. Rotate the hips under. Posterior rotate. The hips squeeze the glute and feel that stretch down the front of the thigh. 
We're going to stay on this leg and we're going to go into hip flexor stretch too. So take a step forward with this foot, keep the hips tucked in, but now lean forward into it till you generate the stretch higher up at the front toward the front of the hip. Breath in, breath out. As we do with our relaxation and stretching, with every exhale, try and let those muscles relax and allow them to stretch. Good, let's switch it over to the opposite side. Knee on the floor. Start with 90 degrees of both knees. Tuck and squeeze. So it should be vertical from my knee, through my hip, through my shoulder and ear. As I tuck and squeeze the bum muscles to get that stretch down into the thigh. Breath in, breath out, tuck a little bit more generate more of that stretch. All right, lean into hip flexor two, and hold. Ten more seconds, and then we're going into the adductor's stretch. All right, so on your knees, place your foot out to the side. Look that my foot is facing straight ahead of me. Okay, this knee locked out straight, no bend. Then sink my hips back towards my heel to generate the stretch on the inside of this leg. If I need to move my foot further away, try that to generate that stretch. Also, make sure your lower back is not rounded and hunched. Okay, that you're flattening that back as you sit back and lean over to generate that stretch. Switch legs, breath in, breath out, sit and hold. Breath in, breath out, last 10 seconds. Happy cat flat back. Foot straight, knee locked out, feeling that stretch on the inside of the thigh in the adductor areas. Moving to pigeon stretch, stretching the glute. So in the push-up position, knee between my hands, keep my hips closed and lean back into it. Try and lie flat on the thigh, breath in, breath out, and relax into the stretch. Again, not allowing my torso and hips to roll open keep them closed and you'll find that generates a better stretch in the hip switch it over opposite leg breath in breath out and relax into that stretch hold breathe last 10 seconds and then we're moving into calves. So in a push-up position, bring the hips up high in the air, flatten one heel down onto the floor, keep the knee locked out straight, and walk back till you generate that stretch down the back of the lower part of the leg into the calf complex. Last 10 seconds. And we'll switch to the other side. Three, two, one, breath in, breath out and switch. Breathe. I'm going to change it into hamstrings. So switching to lying on your back. One leg out flat on the floor, holding the back of the knee with the two hands. Kick that leg up as straight as you can to generate the stretch in the hamstring. Hold that pressure by trying to lock out your knee. If you're finding it easy to lock out your knee in that position, bend your knee and pull your knee in closer to your chest and then go for the kick out from there. 
so that there's always a slight bend in the knee as you're doing the stretch. Three, two, one. Switch it over, knee up. Grab hold, other leg flat on the floor, not bent. So flat on the floor and then pull the toe back towards your nose and push your heel up, trying to lock out your knee and feel the stretch down the back of the thigh. Good, and into our last stretch of the day, okay? Rolling onto our sides, bring our knees up so our hips are bent at 90 degrees, hands on top of each other. Open the book all the way over to flatten your shoulders onto the floor if you can, as long as this knee does not move. And back in and open. I'm gonna do two or three of these. Big exhale when you get to the end. <sighs> Try and push it at two or three inches more. Last one. And roll over to do the same on the opposite side. Knees up, hips at 90 degrees. Open and flatten down. Three, two, one. Up and over. Lift open, down and flatten. Three, two, one. Open and flatten. Three, two, one. Fantastic. That brings us to the end of our session today. Thanks so much for being with us. Like the video, subscribe and hit the bell button and share it with whoever you like. Thanks for watching. See you soon.